I'm going to get motion sick. I can tell you already right here. Montana's on the move. Montana <laughs> Fouts is with us now as she joins us each week on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline, courtesy of our friends at Summit Tree Stands. You could go get that great Summit Stand, a leading manufacturer of premium quality, high-performance tree stands, safety harnesses, and tree stand accessories. Use code MONTANA14, 14% off all tree stands at SummitStands.com. What's up, Montana? How are you? I'm good. How are y'all doing? Doing great. This is uh, this is we've never had you on the move like this. It's really interesting. It's like I'm riding backwards. Yeah, I've got a feeling you're That's going. That's right. Uh, always, always on the move. So I'm I'm surprised this is the first time. I'm not gonna lie to you, but yeah, always on the move. It, it looks like you're going on a trip. Are you heading to uh, the beach or something? No, actually. So my friends are getting married this weekend, so it's crazy busy anyway, but I'm going to my dad's house because we're going to a Brooks and Dunn concert tonight. Brooks Whoa. and Dunn. Look at you. What's the yeah. best Brooks and Dunn song? Border Town. Well, I, have, I feel like I have to say this because it is my walk-up song, but Boot Scoot and Boogie. Yep. So <laughs> that's definitely one of the top ones, but since it is my walk-up song, I'll go with that one. Is Brooks and Dunn your favorite country music act? Oh, they're definitely, they're definitely in my top. Shoot, I'd say six, maybe. I don't know. It's it's hard to say, but five or six. Who, who, I mean, who else there. is in there? Who else is in the competition here? Oh, I, I think it was Whiskey My- This is not in any order, but like George Strait, Whiskey Myers, Tyler Childers, Cody Johnson, Brooks and Dunn. Um, I feel like I'm missing Hardy for sure. So I would say those are my those are my top ones. Now, do you do you line dance? Uh, because that was that really started back more in your dad's day, right? Like your dad, I would imagine, is a big line dancer back then. Oh yeah, but both, both both my parents are. But I'm not the best dancer, but I do I do try. And we even we had a line dancing team with the team um, last year. I wasn't too shabby. wasn't too shabby. Okay, stay ten and two. Don't look back. But Dixie is trying to get uh, on camera. Dixie, say hey. Yeah. Oh, so you're not driving? No, 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 no. Oh no! See, I knew that this was okay. This well, was we had we had Roman Harper on, former Alabama great, and he was actually driving while he was doing his interview. Uh, but yeah, Dixie looks like she does uh, well on the road. Oh yeah, no, she she's mad right now because she doesn't have the front seat, but usually she does pretty well. <laughs> so is that your dad that's driving, or your boyfriend, or who's driving today? Yeah, we've we've got Tanner, my brother, and then my brother's friend Ashton. We're all gonna go to the concert. We're meeting my dad there. Oh, so. yeah. Where where's the concert? Is it uh, Cincinnati, uh, the amphitheater? Where is it? Huntington? It's not in Grayson, uh, I assume. Tra- no, definitely not. But it's in uh, Charleston, so West Virginia. Yep. Just names on a map for you there, Dunaway. Just <laughs> I, knew, so, so, I knew it wasn't Grayson. What is the the best? And I know you're a country music fan, obviously, but best concert you've ever been to? Oh, definitely Hardy and Morgan Wallen, just because Hardy was such a good performer. But um, I also liked Whiskey Myers a lot too. Do you yeah. like? And Tyler Childers is even better in person, so I will say that. Do you like Morgan Wallen's hair? Do you think the mullet is a good look? I mean, I feel like I have to say yes, but at the same time, like, I don't like when Tanner has a mullet all the time. I just like, <laughs> want to cut it all off. So it, it's, it's okay. Some people, some people can have it. Uh, Montana Fouts is with us, courtesy of Summit Tree Stands. She's on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Summit Tree Stands, carefully engineered to be the most silent, secure, comfortable, and safest tree stands available. Use code MONTANA14 at SummitStands.com and say 14% off SummitStands.com and the code MONTANA14. Do you sing at all? Are you at all musically talented? Um, well, I definitely sing, but is it good? No. And when you ask that, <laughs> my brother just laughed. So. Oh, he laughed? Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you ever see this in the, in the off season, but obviously you coming on our show and we've, we've got people who watch and listen and, and follow us now who sort of have taken you under – under their wings too to cheer for you and d1 softball did a ranking of the top players from 2022 and you came in at number 53 what do you have a thought of that 53 53 yeah terrible i mean at the i mean i guess like i don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff because at the end of the day none of it really matters but i mean that's just their opinion amongst a lot of other ones so i'm just gonna keep keep mine and whatever I need to be for the team, but I don't really care about a number, you know, just next year. I just want to be holding the big trophy. That's all I care about. Who would you put at number one? Is it that Oklahoma girl? Would you, would you go Jocelyn Onalo as number one overall? Is that who you would have gone with? 
I'm not sure. I guess they haven't came out with that yet, but um, I feel like, yeah, I mean, she's, she's great. Obviously she's broken all these records and she deserves it. She works really hard. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't see why not. She, she had a great world series too. I mean, I feel like that's almost unheard of. Their team won. So yeah. Is, is, is she on your team for the world games? Is she team USA? Is she playing in the world games? I know she's playing right now with Team USA because I know this summer how it's a little bit different. It's like a pool of teammates and the right. World Cup um, is different. But I think that she's playing with them right now. I don't think she'll be on the same team as me in a couple weeks, but she is right now. Uh, so random question. I know baseball players, softball players are superstitious. I had uh, my last glove for 12 consecutive seasons. Do you change your gloves a lot or do you have the same one even from high school? Oh, no. I wish I could... If- if I could, I definitely would, but they just get so, so bad and so worn out. It's like almost a pancake sometimes at the end of season. So the one I have right now, I feel like I can use um, probably next season. It just depends on how bad it gets. But I think we get, a, we get a new one every year. So I always have the option to get a new one. So when I was a kid, and I'm sure it has changed a lot since then, because it's been a while back. But when I was a kid, you used to have to get a five-gallon bucket and tie a ball in it and soak it in shaving cream to break it in. Do you still have to do that? Um, not with the glove that we have or that, like our team uses. They're pretty easy to break in. But when I was younger, I feel like we did like the old oven and like mallet type of deal. Yeah. Just my dad would always be like, the only way to break it in is just to use it. So we never really tried much else other than that. But I've never heard of that one, actually. Yeah, well, you know, I grew up in the sticks. Uh, they get tired of hearing this, uh, Montana, but uh, I was too poor. My gloves were already broken in when I got them secondhand. Jim, so Jim. I thought you used your bare hands. <laughs> he, had nice, he had isotoners. Yeah. Jim had okay. to tan uh, the hide and uh, cut uh, it. Around the car, around the truck, t- uh, show me each person and tell me what sport they can beat you at. <laughs> Uh, what sport, like ping pong or basketball yeah. or what, what, horseshoes, whatever. Around the car, tell okay. me what they can beat you at. I don't know what you can beat. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what he can beat. <laughs> okay, this one, what, soccer? Yeah, definitely soccer. I'm not a runner. Um, I'm not a runner. Let's see, Cody. This is my brother. Hey, Cody. Hey, Cody. Um, Cody. He would be definitely golf for sure uh-huh. is a sport, but he's, he's really good at like hunting and fishing, that kind of thing. Okay. This is Tanner. Hey, Tanner. And uh, he, no sport, but he's really good at hunting and fishing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. He was, I was pitching the other day and he was starting overhand with me and then I threw a wand underhand and he was like, whoa, that's a little different. So I don't know if he could, if he could catch me, but he said he's going to work on it. And then Dixie, Anything that has to do with running, she's got me. Fetch. Well, so, so could Tanner, has he ever attempted to, uh, to like, take a swing? I mean, uh, have you ever pitched to him? Um, he says no. <laughs> but no. We'll get the bat off the shoulder. That said, stuff comes, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. He said, he, he said broken rib. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, she only hits people she wants to hit, yeah, Tanner. She's told us that, yeah. yeah. That's, that's why he said That's why he said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, enjoy Brooks and Don. We always appreciate the time, Montana. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you next week. Okay. So long. That is Montana Fouts, the Alabama pitcher. She is uh, on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Use code MONTANA14 for 14% off all tree stands at SummitStands.com. Summit, a leading manufacturer of premium quality, high-performance tree stands, safety harnesses, and tree stand accessories. Simply put, you don't go in the woods to hunt without a Summit tree stand. That's it. Montana 14 gets you 14% off all tree stands at summitstands.com. 